Well, doctors successfully attach a pig kidney to a human body. Elephants are rapidly evolving without trust to escape ivory poachers. Study finds Kerala farmers' innovative technique can save cashew gardens from debilitating pests and frequent cyclonic storms. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. And in a first, a kidney from a genetically modified pig was successfully attached to a brain-dead individual and functioned well for more than two days. It was tracked. According to doctors who performed the surgery at a New York City hospital last month, although xenotransplantation, the transplanting of animal organs into people has become a dream for scientists for decades. It's been incredibly tough to realize because the organs are often rejected by the human immune system. The recipient was brain dead, meaning they were already on artificial life support with no prospect of recovering. And the kidney came from a pig that had been genetically modified to stop the organ being recognized by the body as foreign and being rejected. During the two-hour operation at the New York University Langone Health Medical Center, the surgeons connected the donor pig kidney to the blood vessels of the brain-dead recipient to see if it could function normally once plumbed in or be rejected. It functioned normally and did not appear to be undergoing rejection. The surgeons then transplanted a bit of the pig's thymus gland too, along with the kidney. They think this organ might help stop the human body rejecting the kidney in the long term by mopping up any stray immune cells that might otherwise fight the pig tissue. The work is not yet peer-reviewed or published, but there are plans for this. And experts say it is the most advanced experiment in the field so far. And let's move on to story number two. A deep enough wound will leave a scar, but a traumatic event in the history of an animal population may leave a mark on the genome itself. During the Mozambican Civil War 1977 to 92, Humans killed so many elephants for their lucrative ivory that the animals seem to have evolved in the space of a generation. The result, a large number are now naturally tuskless. And with the evolution of animals is often thought as something that takes millions of years, it can also happen. A new study published in Science provides powerful evidence that human activities are driving rapid evolution of animals. The study has revealed that tooth-building genes that are probably involved and one of the same genes is linked to a syndrome in human females that causes abnormal tooth growth. In both humans and elephants, the mutation is lethal to males. And normally both male and female African elephants have tusks, which are really a pair of the massive teeth. But a few are born without them. Under heavy poaching, those few elephants without ivory are more likely to pass on their genes. Researchers have seen this phenomena in Mozambique's Gorongosa National Park, where tuskless elephants are now a common sight. And while losing tusks might have helped the elephant survive, there is concern that this will also come at a cost. Let's move on to story number three. Well, a woman farmer from Kerala's Kanur district has come up with an innovative practice to develop support roots in cashew trees to protect her cashew garden from devastating border attacks and frequent cyclonic storms. The area under cashew cultivation in India is around 10.11 lakh. That is the highest amongst all cashew growing countries and the total annual production is approximately 7.53 lakh tons with several farmers dependent on it for their livelihood. The coastal state of Kerala offers one of the best sites for cashew plantations in the country. However, its production is hampered by several biotic as well as abiotic factors. Stem and root borer is one of the most debilitating posts as it is capable of killing even the grown-up trees within a short period. Besides pest infestation, cashew nut plantation in coastal India is affected by frequent intense cyclones and each such devastation requires more than 10 years for restoration. And I am a baby from Kerala, developed an 
innovative cashew multiple rooting propagation method, which generates multiple roots in a grown-up cashew tree, thus improving production per unit area. It also helps eco-friendly management of stem and root borers, restores productivity, provides strong anchorage against wind, damage and cyclonic storms, and extension of the plantation life without the necessity of replanting. The National Innovation Foundation an autonomous organization of the Department of Science and Technology has taken up innovative technology for the necessary support and incubation activities. And with this, this is the wrap of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Till then, to watch Science Time every Friday at 9 p.m. only on India Science. Namaskar.